A few years ago I built a small sailing pram just for fooling around. Last summer I wanted to introduce my young grandniece and grandnephew, ages 9 and 6 respectively, to small boat sailing. The dinghy, however, is just under 8 feet overall and the best oars for this boat are also 8 feet long. This of course means that they will not fit into the boat comfortably, especially when anyone is in it. This calls out then for two-piece oars. These are on the market, but they are very pricey. I made these in just under an hour for absolutely zip. Of course, I did have the scrap just lying around to use, but even if you have to buy the PVC, it won't be more than a few dollars. The entire materials list consists of two scraps of plywood about 20 inch by seven inches, two sections of inch and a half PVC plumbing pipe. They come usually 10 feet long about six foot of one and a half inch closet rod or dowel and 18 galvanized inch and a quarter deck screws and that's it these oars won't win any prizes for beauty and you won't be entering the olympics or the henley regatta with them but they will do the job in fact they will do two jobs here's how they go together first cut each piece of pvc pipe into two pieces one 48 inches long and the other 38 inches long. If you have 10 foot sections, this will leave an extra piece of 34 inches. And if you have eight foot sections, you will have a piece 10 inches long. You will not need these again, so put them aside. The 38 inch long piece is for the lower portion of the loom and the 48 inch piece, the upper. Cut the closet pole into four sections, two of them two feet in length and two of them one foot in length. These are the insert joiners, the two foot ones, and the oar handles, the one foot ones. Either a bandsaw or a jigsaw, cut a slot about three quarters inch in width up one end of each of the 38 inch pieces. Make the slot about 10 inches long. Take the scrap plywood and draw out the blades. Mine taper from about six and a half inches at the tip to about four inches where they meet the loom. The dimensions are not critical. Grab any two different size cans of paint from the shop and uh, draw them out. Whatever you have, that's the size and shape you want to achieve. That's what I did. Connect the dots, well, okay, the radii, and you have the outline for the blades, which you will then cut out on the bandsaw or with the jigsaw. Now for final assembly. Draw three sets of holes on each side of the PVC at three points. One, where the blade will fit in. Two, where the joining insert fits in, and three, where the handle fits in. You need to draw the PVC because the deck screws won't draw their own holes very well through this material. Stagger the holes on each side so that you have maximum grip. Insert blade in slot. Insert screws in holes. Drive home. Insert joining insert dowel halfway into other end of blade section. Insert screws in holes. Drive home. Insert oar handles halfway into the end of the 48 inch long piece. Insert screws in holes. Drive home. Insert handle section into blade section and drill a small 3 16ths or a quarter inch hole right through the whole assembly about four inches up from where they meet. This will be where you insert a pin to hold the oars together when they are in use and prevent the handle section from twisting around the blade section. Apart from paint or varnish, your oars are finished. A couple of notes. You may need to sand down the dowel pieces a little bit to fit inside the PVC. You just want a snug fit. Not too loose and obviously not too tight. You can use anything for a pin to hold the two sections together. I used a couple of six-penny galvanized common nails I had on hand. Work fine. Now as to the two uses. These make great paddles as well as oars. As oars, they're a good length, and I find that there is a little bend to the PVC which seems to provide a little snap at the end of the stroke. Terrific. The blade section also works great as a paddle. Sometimes you don't want to put the oars together, but just paddle around to the end of the dock or something. Just use the blade section as it is for a paddle. Also terrific. You will want to uh, countersink the drywall screws or deck screws because they won't uh, automatically pull into the PVC. So countersink them. If you don't like the uh, grain showing in the, or the laminates showing in the plywood, 
uh, which can be considered sometimes a little unsightly, uh, then just use solid lumber. That's what I did on, uh, on the paddles I made, and it looks a little nicer.